Welcome to the Pre-Coat Surface Pretreatment application video. The procedure in this training video was developed specifically for commercial aircraft. For pre-coat procedures on smaller general aviation aircraft, please contact Pantheon Enterprises. Also, as a reminder, always refer to and follow your facility's specific engineering documents and safety procedures. At the end of this video, you will find contact information for Pantheon Enterprises. If you have any questions, we are here to support you 24-7. All right, let's begin. In this video, we'll cover what pre-coat is and what tools you will need to apply it. Then, we'll take you through the standard process step by step. What is pre-coat? Well, pre-coat replaces conversion coatings. It prepares metal and composite for primer and paint. Essentially, pre-coat makes the paint stick, which prevents peeling and corrosion. A major advantage of pre-coat is that it cuts process time. It replaces four chemicals and processes, including the alkaline wash, acid etch, conversion coating, and solvent wipe. Another important advantage of pre-coat is that it's non-toxic, biodegradable, and is recognized by the Environmental Protection Agency of the United States. To apply pre-coat, you will need the following. Pole scrubbers. Abrading pads. This is important. Be sure to use aluminum oxide pads that are between 280 and 400 grit. We recommend the Maroon Scotch Brights, part number 7447. For military use, please consult your technical order. Sprayers with a tip size of 0.065 to 0.071 inches. Pre-coat, it comes ready to use so there's no mixing. Orbital abraders or jitterbugs will increase adhesion so they're great to use in high erosion areas. We recommend goggles and gloves. Pre-coat is non-toxic, but you should always consult and follow your facility's safety and PPE guidelines. Now that you have the tools, let's review the pre-coat process. The way you process the aircraft will depend on the crew size, but there are some general guidelines. Work in small sections to prevent pre-coat from drying. Note that you will apply pre-coat twice before rinsing. This ensures that all of the areas have been thoroughly processed. Before you start the pre-coat process, first make sure the aircraft is prepped. After the aircraft has been stripped, sand composite areas, wet abrade the fuselage, apply sealant as needed, mask areas that will not be painted. All right, now we're ready to apply pre-coat. Step one, spray pre-coat in the small section. Using the pole scrubbers with a Scotch-Brite, scrub the pre-coat into a rich lather. Be sure to overlap strokes so you cover all of the areas. Pay close attention to leading edges and high erosion areas. Do not rinse the pre-coat or allow the pre-coat foam to dry. If it does, simply reapply the pre-coat and scrub again. Next, spray another coat of pre-coat over the foamed area you just scrubbed. Again, be sure to overlap strokes. Pay close attention to leading edges and high erosion areas. Please note, when pre-treating Section 41, use orbital abraders instead of pole scrubbers. This will ensure even greater adhesion in this high erosion area. For the second application of pre-coat on Section 41, pole scrubbers may be used. Now that you've applied and scrubbed twice, you're ready to rinse the section. Always rinse from top down. Now, move to the next small section and continue this process for each section. When all sections have been processed, remove all the masking. Inspect the aircraft. Rinse any areas where pre-coat foam remains, ensuring the entire aircraft is clean. Once the aircraft is dry, you are ready to prime. Be sure to prime within 24 hours. This is to ensure that the skin does not become contaminated with materials such as dust and dirt. 
Some things to keep in mind. The type of abrasive pad is important. Use only the recommended type. Do not allow pre-coat to dry during either application. Do not rinse the pre-coat between applications. Remember, you apply and scrub twice before rinsing the section. Do not wait to prime the aircraft. You don't want the aircraft to be contaminated prior to priming. Do not solvent wipe the aircraft after the pre-coat application. If for any reason by accident these things do occur, simply start over. Thank you for choosing pre-coat surface pretreatment. If you have any questions, we are here to support you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week.